You're listening to iCannabisRadio.com. Yep. And good evening. I just made myself a little dizzy. (laughs) Welcome to Happy Mondays in October. Look, we're dressed up finally. Finally? I thought I was dressed up last week. Yep. Yep. I was trying for a good joke. Thank you, Sarah. But it's like you were, you know. But you snuck by this week, just barely. I totally did. I totally did. Today is the 13th. Today Monday, is Monday the, the 13th. 13th. Look, what is we're, what? We're, 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 we're haunted. We're haunted. We have we have ghosts. We have ghosts in here. Why do I need to prove I'm a human every fucking time I log into this? Well, site? I got to tell you, there are times where I'm wondering. But at least I really like their captures, though. Their little like pictures that float around, and you yeah. got to play like you know the highlights Games magazine. Like, so tell us about your costume. You didn't. You don't have your hat on during the show. Well, because I realized I'm just gonna have a hard time getting my headphones on over it. Because you can't hear me sitting right next to you? I just, for some reason, it's easier to do this this way. Oh. Because otherwise, I'll be over here talking and like, you know, what's over there? Oh, my God. I didn't realize you have this. What is this? Taco meat. What is John Travolta. All your stuff is hanging out. I mean, not all your stuff, but your top stuff. Do you want all my stuff to hang out? I mean, Is this that kind of show? I can pull it out. No, no, no. I mean, no, no, no. I want. Right, I mean, just I just. Funny. I was just surprised that you had stuff hanging out. What do you mean stuff hanging out? Your chest hairs are poking through, saying "Welcome to Happy Mondays." It's taco meat. Taco meat, <laughs> ground. Well, I just refuse to shave my chest. I think that's kind of gay and not in a stop kind of way. You know what kind of way? What kind of way is it then? I'm not asking you to shave your chest. I'm not even wanting to have much conversation about this, but I'm just curious about. About what? Well, I mean, why would the option be shave your chest? You could just button your shirt. Mm. Or you could just, we could just say it like it is. Say what? (laughs) Say it then. Stay like it is. Stay like it is. Well, I was planning on leaving it. Okay. Can I see? Just, Just face me again. What's that say? Revolution. There we go. Yeah, I knew that. Okay, that was fun. We can move on now because I feel a little weird. <laughs> just feel slightly a ton weird. weird. Yeah, do you guys feel weird? It's just, I don't know. I feel awkward. Yeah, I feel a little I, bit. I feel a bit awkward. Yeah, next time tell me. How just you next want? time, all, everything. Just look. <laughs> Use your eyes. You Use saw the pictures, didn't you? What is this? Is this dental floss? No, it's just clothing. Oh, I pulled that out of my shirt. Oh, came off your shirt? Do you, you could use it as dental floss, I think. Do you need to floss, or are you good? Nah, I floss Ooh. regularly. You know what? You can't lo- use it as dental floss. It just falls right apart. Right. So it is uh, Halloween month here at iCannabis. It's actually <coughs> Halloween month everywhere in the world, really, right? Right. We just happened to uh, pay more attention to it than others. So uh, Jeremy and I are joined in the studio with our other... Uh, Costumed friends. Chris. You are, are non-costumed friends? No, uh, they're everyone's costumed. I can tell you about this. Oh, okay. Well. Yeah. So Chris is an acid trip. Get it? Can you I put would think he's more of just acid. Acid. Can you put can you put y- the camera on you for a second? I think you're f- <laughs> 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 And then and then Gabe is super intern. Even though he's not really an intern anymore, he's like full fledged graduated super intern. <laughs> and then Sarah. Adorable. I mean she's just you know, even if she dressed something scary, she'd still be adorable girl. Well so today cute. today is I would like to point out really quick that today is is no bra day. Right. Oh I know. Good job. Yeah, thank you. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Free the Tato's Day in uh, bringing more attention to uh, breast cancer awareness, all cancer awareness, um, as far as we're concerned. And um, just as a reminder that your money is wasted if you donate to the Susan B. Komen Foundation. Just want to put that out there. Um, and then our last uh, masked uh, uh, 
costumer today is our intern, Ronell, who is dressed as a car crash survivor. <laughs> <laughs> a Colorado car crash survivor. So sometimes things are true and sometimes things are costumes. You decide. You decide. Jingle, jingle. Jingle, jingle. Some scary things happened this week. Ooh. I think, no. <laughs> no. I, uh, I got some of that fuzz. Oh. In my nose. Thank God. I was starting to think you got the thin toilet paper. What does that mean? <laughs> I'm having a rough day today. You've got to speak in only <laughs> common English phrases for no, cause, me. Because what that means is just gross. Oh, okay. It, then means, that, it means that you, if you have thin toilet paper and you wipe and your fingers go through, you were smelling. Never mind. Anyways. Moving on. Moving on. This is So far, this is a really good show. I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as we are. <laughs> um, <laughs> Oh yeah, we don't want to. We can, I I may not have any more poo conversations after something I'll tell you guys off the air occurred in this past week. But Uh-oh. I may not have any more. Poo, I may be done. Oh no! I may be done with yeah. poo conversations. Maybe makes, forever. Makes me sad. Oh, this will make you sadder. Um, <laughs> Damn, we need to go to commercials. <laughs> it's a. Uh, it's been a scary week in Colorado. Um, some uh, numerous things happened that um, make me wonder if it is Halloween time or election season, or both. Um, you know, our, our governor is, is up for election right now, and there are three prime candidates for governor in the state of Colorado right now. Our incumbent, um, uh, Hickenlooper, who is, um, you know, grew up in the uh, alcohol industry. and Made, made millions. Did quite well. Crafting beer. Has did quite well. Has quite a name for himself. And bringing that kind of information, like that kind of tourism and those kinds of things, I mean, that to Colorado, that was big for him. Um, big bar owner, um, turned mayor of Denver, Denver, then turned Colorado governor. Um, he is running against Republican candidate Bob Beaupre, um, who is a prick. Like, I don't know they, how they else. They both say a lot of the same things. They're both pricks. They're both pricks. And then, yeah. And then there's Michael Donifon, who is the current mayor of the city of Glendale, Colorado, which is Glendale's kind of an interesting <laughs> town. It is. It's a, it's a great t- like I I'm so <coughs> in love with this little town. So it's smack dab in the middle of Denver. So Denver surrounds it on all sides. But yet it's actually part of Arapahoe County, which is a neighboring county. And uh, the rules of the universe do not apply to Glendale, Colorado. Um, it is where um, strip clubs are accepted and legal. Oh, Alcohol, till salt till four. Alco- What's that? Uh, the strip bars are open till four. And booze. Alcohol no, is served till four. No, it's still cut off in that too. No, no, no. Uh-uh, four. No, when yeah. did that change? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> update, your, update your stripper schedule. Right. It you is going know. down till 4.30 now. Because I dance on Tuesday nights when it's old lady <laughs> night. And <laughs> Damn, I just don't get out. Just kidding. She's not. Um, <laughs> but uh, she really does. Um, I mean, he really has has taken the idea of libertarianism um, and put it to work in Glendale, Colorado. And I personally very am very appreciative. So he is running as a third ca- party libertarian candidate, um, which is wonderful. Um, Go Donovan. Wait, however, he was a libertarian candidate. Uh-huh. I thought he was independent. He's technically, to my understanding, a libby. See, I, my understanding is he's an independent. Either way, I like both. Well, he is certainly. Um, I mean, independent is fantastic. His um, approach to the world is very libertarian. You know, don't uh, don't worry about things unless uh, unless you know they they. You know, hurt you or others. Um, you know, people kind of take care of themselves. Um, you know, there will be industry that will develop to take care of others. Those kinds of things. Pretty libertarian. Um, states, states' rights. Those kinds of things. Um, so, so there was a gubernatorial um, uh, debate this week where um, Bob Beaupre talked about uh, the concept of uh, repealing the marijuana legalization and going back to prohibition in Colorado. I, I mean, I'm not sure what is scarier than that, um, that this gentleman is so completely and utterly out of touch with, oh, I don't know, everyone, that, that he thinks that, first of all, you can do something like that when the horse is like, out of the barn. Out of the barn, over the, the 
you know, out of the stable, over the hills, into the next. I mean, it's out of the barn. Um, and and I don't know how we would undo using all this tax dollars. I mean, how would we all of a sudden be able to, I don't know, pay for stuff? Because thankfully the marijuana industry, both medical and retail, has been pretty lucrative for our state. But he's going to go back to prohibition because that worked well. Well, I, I like the counties that, that say, no, we don't want any marijuana in our county. We don't want our kids to get it, none of that stuff. And then a few months later, come back around and say, wait, we want all these tax dollars from your municipality, though, because that's a lot of money, and we could use some of that. Well, then legal, let it. Fort Collins uh, is a prime example, right? Fort Collins is a wonderful example. Okay, yes, um, bring medical in. Oh, you know what? Let's put this up to a vote. This is no good. We don't want this. Oh, wait, yes, we do. Wait a second. You mean that we actually glean tax dollars from this? Okay, bring it back. Yeah, but we don't want rec. Or the, how about oh, wait, yes, we do. <laughs> Yes, we do. Or how about the cities that just outright tell you what's up t at the beginning? Aurora, for example, no on medical marijuana. We have no interest in right. helping. Wait, 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 wait. Rec is now legal and you guys are collecting all these taxes? Fuck it. We're going to open up some rec joints. First one is supposed to have opened today. Yeah, today's a, a big deal, too. Opened today, apparently. And, I mean, come on, people. I mean, Aurora told you they don't care about you. They want your money. Right. I mean, it doesn't get any more obvious unless they just come to your house and say, hi, we don't care. But they're not going to come to your house because they don't care. Right. <laughs> Let's see how that works. So it's, so it's pretty scary. But I have to tell you, and this is not going to be popular in this room, that I'm worried about what a vote for Donovan means for Beaupre. Well, and that's the shitty thing, you know. But if enough people vote, I mean... It's time in this country that a major metropolis, a major area, that's a major right. whatever, has somebody that's not an R or a D after their name. You know, like, it'd be really great. I don't care what letter. Any other letter at this point almost. You can even, I mean, I, I prefer not a socialist, but we got one of those in the White House. But I'm about as close to a socialist as you can get. Oh, yeah? Well, regardless, anybody but a Republican and a Democrat, they're the same damn people. It's well, a joke that we vote for the lesser of two evils is a still vote for evil. I mean, you're absolutely right about that. I just, you know, in, in looking at, at the difference between the two, the two prime candidates, um, I mean, they, they both say the same thing, but Beaupre is, is stupid enough to say, yeah, I'll, I'll put, you know, we should put this to the voters. We should, we should talk about, about repealing this constitutional amendment. Wow. How? I mean, that's just shocking to me. That just feels like, like his handlers afterwards were like, Bob, how are we going to undo what you just said? How do we <laughs> fix that? Idiot. It'll just disappear. It'll just, they'll, it'll just get blown past. I mean, it'd be great if, but it's, I don't know. I can't wait until, what, November 5th? So this will all be done. Fourth. No, but that's, oh, wait, that's oh, the day. Waiting, like, waiting November till 5th, the 5th, right? There won't be, I mean, commercials. <laughs> Oh, my God. Robocalls. Commercials. TV is terrible to begin with, you know. But if it's on and you're going to see commercials, you're going to see 50 political ads, a couple of beer ads, some car commercials, maybe an insurance commercial. Lots of just bullshit. What was funny is the other day I was watching the football game. Um, not the Broncos. So you have to wake up early for that when it's 11 o'clock games. But they had that yes on 68 followed right by a no on 68 commercial. And it's like, Yes, on 68. How are you supposed no, to know 67. which one to do? Um, you, read, you read the initiative and well, you do right, your own if, research if and you don't are, rely on ads. But if everybody is lying to you, you know, because it's all word trickery. It, it really is. I love that. I love that. The only people that are going to benefit from 68, which in Colorado, for those of you that don't know, 68 would, um, would allow off-track betting at... Uh, the few dog tracks that are left in color. I think there's three, maybe two. They're going away fast. And this is, and it would, all of the revenue generated from this off track betting would go to uh, schools, K through 12 education. Uh, and the, the no's on 68 say, oh, there's, there's no guarantee it's going to go to our schools. That tax revenue, it's tax revenue. 
whether it go to our schools, whether it go to well, what they're fix saying our, is it's, that it's going to go to that Rhode Island company. Not tax revenue. Tax revenues won't go. Now, will there be profits or what have you that go? Maybe. I don't know. I would imagine. But our tax revenue won't, and that's what's going to pay for schools. Most gambling establishments won't open if they're not going to make make tons of money hand over fist. So I'm pretty sure there's going to be a profit. But If $3 goes to schools, I'm good. Right. I'm great. Because it's not like their profit benefits us anyway. There is no real trickle down anything. It's all just shit. Right. And then there's a – it's just – it's crazy. This time of year is just crazy here. So – The thing with Donovan, though, is we got to learn more about his other stances because, like, you know, many people have said, well, just because he's pro this doesn't mean he's going to be beneficial for that. You know, he might want to take our guns away and anti this or any of that. I mean, there's a lot. That was just a quick example. But he likes guns. But which is good, you know, I mean, and all these things. If see, I like freedom to (laughs) arm ourselves or no, let me rephrase that. I like the freedom to be able to protect ourselves from those that may threaten it. Because they way outgun and outnumber us. That's right. I'd be able to grow my own stuff and feed myself. The risk of that, though, is is if you have your own, well, it depends on what kind of home garden. If we're talking about a medical garden, you know, marijuana, you can't have guns and weed in the house. That's you can't have a concealed weapon <coughs> permit, but you can have a gun in the house. You just can't carry a concealed weapon. But exactly. if the cops come kick down your door and they find a shotgun and a bunch of marijuana plants, you might have a bullet or two in you. Ooh, that's true. So... We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll talk a little bit more about this scariness. And then we're going to talk about other Halloween things, like how to scare your guests with something like that. Yes. We'll be right back. The Law Offices of Vets and Maintenance Mats provide criminal defense, medical marijuana defense, and advice about setting up and running medical marijuana centers, optional premises, cultivation operations, and infused product manufacturing businesses throughout Colorado. With offices in Denver and Aspen, we can offer assistance throughout the entire state of Colorado. Give us a call at 303-831-8188. That's 303-831-8188. Or visit us online at warrenetson.com. Are you a runner? Are you a runner who supports marijuana legalization? Run on Grass is a group of athletes actively seeking to change our marijuana laws. We speak the truth about cannabis, bringing the message through our feet to new ears. Check out runongrass.com to find out more about us, our events, and how to join up or how to sponsor a runner. If you're in the Denver area, please join us for runs or start a group in your area. Running not your thing? Any sport can do it on grass. Runongrass.com. I'm Gary Johnson, and you're listening to iCannabis Radio, and I want to say, talk it up, Colorado. And we're back. I got a, got I a little preview of that story. That we'll, I still, yeah. We'll get at the next break. Anyways, moving on. Um, I love that we're in costume. This is so much fun. Uh, so, so, you know, the political scene can be like a horror movie. I mean, it just, it just can. It's completely like a horror movie. It's just a big fake shit show. Well, it's a real shit show, but a bunch of fake words, a bunch of fake promises, a bunch of just let's ele- – all we do is elect our greatest actors slash liars. You know, I mean, you know, they are the best at looking you in the eye and telling you everything that you want to hear and then totally not following it. And I think – and maybe I'm just naive. I think at the beginning there is really a – a desire by by a candidate to really make a difference, to really make change, and to do things that they believe in. But it doesn't take long before you feel sort of, before you get corrupted, before you realize that the system's not that easily changeable, before it takes you know this special interest group and that special interest group to make those differences. And, and by the time you get all involved in that stuff, um, you are you are jaded, and you are uh, no longer the person that's trying to make change. You're the you're the person that's that's trying to do the least harm. And right, I agree with that. I mean, it would be tough to be anybody and get into Congress. You know, with that, yeah, I'm going to fix things, and then people start coming into your office, dropping you piles of cash and checks to look the other way or to help that's them right. vote for this. Or hey, we'll take care of that playground you're working on if you just vote for this, fuck, that's all I got to do, and you're going to deal with my $2 million park problem? All right. 
And then I'm boom, down, you're right. in somebody's pocket, and that's where it starts, and it just keeps going. And then all of a sudden, you've got a fat bank account. You're driving in limos, and you forgot all about the people. And your ethics and values. Go away. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, so it's Halloween time. It's election time. All this is kind of the same thing. The other thing that's kind of interesting that's, that's happening in Colorado, and it's not surprising. So, so for years, parents have worried about, you know, what's going to happen when, when my son or daughter gets some kind of, uh, marijuana laced something or, or, you know, back when I was trick or treating, they were always worried about, you know, someone taking a needle and, and injecting some candy with something. It's ridiculous. Right, or the razor blades and candy. Oh, yeah. Which they found is total urban myth. Total urban myth. You know, but we'll just believe whatever, because... Because it's fun. I'm going to give out Ebola for this this Halloween. I'm going to Ebola. Nice. (laughs) Have you got backstage? (laughs) Right. Uh, Nice. When you were little, they had to bring your candy to the... Yes. Right, so they Yes. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. That was stupid. That was hilarious. Right, uh, this <laughs> right. Radiated Snickers right. bar here. That nope, I didn't find a single razor blade, but I'm going to give you cancer with your treats. <laughs> um, <laughs> so in Colorado, of course, the big concern uh, has been making sure that that uh, edibles do not find their ways into the hands of children. So the middle of last month, the middle of September. Uh, the police stations started getting phone calls from parents concerned about what to do if their son or daughter uh, possibly could get some edibles in accidentally in their Halloween candy. And the Westward did an article about it. And, and I have to say that are, how much fear mongering are we going to do? Just just when does it end? Well, nobody's died in the last three or four months or jumped off of, of a hotel balcony or killed anybody, killed anybody you know, so we're. It's got to be going okay. They've obviously diverted their propaganda focus somewhere else. I I guess. I just, you know, and I'm all about really being responsible adults, not just in how we how we utilize marijuana and sell it and package it and all those kinds of things, but really about how we do that with all aspects of of things that that really shouldn't be openly available to kids. Um, Well, you know what's awesome about this? Tell me what's awesome. As as we sit here and try to figure this out, you know, I've got that bit of panic going on in my brain, as as anybody does when you're talking about something, whatever. But if a kid did get edibles and did eat them, he's not going to die. No, but the... It's so awesome. I mean... It's so awesome. Well... That's right. Because it could be... It's not razor blades. We're not injecting three musketeers with fucking Drano and... Whatever, right. so that's that's, right. that's genuine concern. That's right. You know, so at least if it does happen, and there's a good chance that two weeks into October we're going to hear a couple stories, you know, whether made up or fabricated or, or not, um, about kids having to be taken to the hospital, and they're going to dramatize that while leaving out, but they were fine a day later and everything was totally okay and, and everything worked out just fine. The worst, I mean, the worst thing about it in my mind, the worst thing about it for, for most people is that, is that they don't, if, if it isn't something that they've eaten on their own, they don't know what's happening to them. And so it's scary. Um, you know, if you, if you eat something and you eat too much and you know, wow, I've eaten too much, you know, to write it out, you know, that you should just curl up in bed and fall asleep and when you wake up, drink some water. Right. Um, but but for kids, if they don't know, if someone does something terrible, like doses them, you know, then it's scary. Then they don't know what's going on, and they don't know that they're not going to die. Right. They don't know that they're not going but to die. But that's because we've got the lovely media, major media outlets, pumping their parents full of propaganda that's and right. fear that instead of just saying, okay, you've probably ingested some marijuana. I mean, I get, take your kid to the hospital, but don't freak out. Like, if you're, if you're panicking a little, take your kid to the hospital, say your kid's just high on weed, no big deal, we'll just keep him here, we'll feed him because he's going to be hungry as shit in a little bit, we'll let him sleep it off. Ooh-hoo. Might pump his stomach. Might, right, I'm not sure what they're going to get out, you know, a partially digested piece of candy maybe, but still, that's, that's the part of the story that should be focused on, and once that was focused on one time, it would not likely get sensationalized again. That's right. But this time of year, of course, it's it's very interesting. Everyone's thinking about, ooh, if my kid goes trigger treating and then goes to that person's house and they give my kid a pot brownie. I got I got to also tell you mom and dad, more like more than likely, you know, that that 
pot brownie, if it was purchased at a store, was expensive. And they're not they're, they're not, not gonna give it away. Give, they're not giving it away to your kid. So don't worry about that. Most now, people if, don't even give out full size candy bars. Because right. they cost, you know, it costs like fifteen dollars for twenty or thirty of them, which, you know, is a pretty good deal. But no one's gonna give away a twenty dollar brownie to your kid. As a joke. As a joke. And yeah. think, oh, I'm funny because <laughs> I'm totally rich. Right. Yeah. That's that's not what's happening. But there is a possibility that the friends might do it, that, you know, they might bake something. And, I mean, there, there are those possibilities. Oh, yeah. And and certainly that's scary. But they're calling the police department and saying, what do, what do I do? What do I do if? Right. Those are not the people to give you the proper answers. Right. Ladies right. and gentlemen. But the other thing is, I shouldn't have to tell you this, but, folks, don't give people edibles and – and not tell them that stuff's in infu- Don't do that. Don't well, do that. Most of us can tell. Like, we'll, we'll get it into our mouth. You chew on it or you suck on it. Whatever, you know, the, the item is. Yeah. And you're like, oh, shit. And, you can, and you're going to be fine. A kid, you're right. I mean, absolutely. That, and, or people that don't know, they'll just think, oh, this brownie tastes weird. Something's wrong. And they'll just keep eating it because, I don't know. Right. That's right. So, so, you know, Halloween is supposed to be fun. And so, right? That's fun. So, 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 so be smart and don't, and don't, don't overanalyze and over worry about stuff. There were no razor blades in our baby Ruths when we were kids. And there, there weren't. weren't any regulations hardly at all back then. I mean, no. very few that, and so we all survived very right. well. So like pass that on to your kids. Cause that shit was a lot of fun when, when we were growing up. Well, and Jeremy made a good point. If your kid eats something that doesn't taste good, tell them to stop eating it. Absolutely. I mean, educate your kids on, I mean, educate yourselves. Halloween right. is for everybody. It's all ages. Everybody can go trick for or treating. Um, Just for me. But educate your kids, you know, let your kids go out and have a great time, but tell them, you know, don't, you know, if, if you want to check their candy, check their candy. Right. Do what you got to do, but don't, don't put the fear into them unnecessarily unless you're telling them that they might get eaten by demons for walking down the wrong street. Cause that's still what Halloween's about. Demons. E- well, just, just fun uh, pranks. That's right. You know. So this is a this is a old article, a couple of years ago, but I just thought it's so funny that these things are just timeless. Um, so marijuana, Halloween candy, cops warn trick or treaters about weed infused treats. And this is from uh, Halloween 2012 in uh, the uh, LA Weekend magazine. The rise of pot shops in LA has led to a sale of marijuana edibles and cannabis candy that's sometimes mockingly packaged to look like some childhood favorites. That's all fine and well if you're a <clears throat> legal adult suffering from whatever ailment requires you to take THC infused chocolates. But if you're young Halloween trick or treaters who just got a package of Keef Cat instead of Kit Cat, it could be trouble. The L.A. Police Department today issued a warning that these look-alike candies and asked about these look-alike candies and asked parents to be vigilant and sort through tonight's haul just in case. Not going to happen. Do you know how much one of those, like, clone candy bars costs? you know why they put those wrappers on there? I mean, I know you do because you work at a dispensary. But for our listeners, the they do that because it's product recognition. You know, you can get a, a right. the, the, the Keef Cat and... You're going to sell 10 times more of those because people recognize the Kit Kat logo. Right, exactly. So it exactly. makes it really easy for that to work out. So that's what they're kind of leaving out of there. They're, but We are clearly exciting tonight. <laughs> uh, Keeping them riveted. Right. So after this, I want to kind of switch gears a little bit, if you don't mind. And um, we have some really cool cannabis pump- carved pumpkins that we want to show. I mean, not live. I don't have them in person. Oh, I was like, holy shit, sweet. Um, Pictures, slideshow? Slideshow. All right. And then, um, do you know some of the best Halloween strains? Um, I don't, but I'm looking forward to learning. Yeah, we'll learn together. Nice. Right? You, me, Ronell, if he's awake. You know what I learned recently, too, <laughs> on, on the pumpkin note? Um, I would like to learn when pumpkin carving got started. That would be a fun fact. I'm sure it wouldn't be hard to look up, but just came to mind. Sounded like it'd be neat. But... I learned recently that most pumpkin flavor, and most people probably, I don't know, most pumpkin flavored shit, you know, not poo, literally poo, but, you know, coffees, lattes, you know, your candy, your whatever crap has zero pumpkin in it. Uh, Most, they say that many pumpkin pies have very little pumpkin. It's really, nutmeg. the the John Oliver uh, had a good little thing just we were watching right before the show started about 
Oh, the pumpkin spice thing. So if you're listening after the show, Google John Oliver pumpkin spice. Uh, what was it? Uh, rant. It's funny. He's so funny. We'll be right back. He's my favorite. Are you a medical marijuana patient or interested in finding out how to become one? Contact Mile High Wellness, where your care is our concern. Conveniently located on Hamden and Tamarack in the Whole Foods parking lot behind Proof of the Pudding, Mile High Wellness offers a wide variety of edibles, hashes, and some of Colorado's top strains. Mile High Wellness, where your care is our concern. 3525 South Tamarack, Suite 110, on the corner of Hamden and Tamarack. 720-382-8516. Mile High Wellness, where your care is our concern. Are you a runner? Are you a runner who supports marijuana legalization? Run on Grass is a group of athletes actively seeking to change our marijuana laws. We speak the truth about cannabis, bringing the message through our feet to new ears. Check out runongrass.com to find out more about us, our events, and how to join up or how to sponsor a runner. If you're in the Denver area, please join us for runs or start a group in your area. Running not your thing? Any sport can do it on grass. Runongrass.com. back we were talking about poo we got totally sidetracked so sorry if there was a little delay in our or if you heard it <laughs> that's always funny shit too uh, <laughs> so um so so can we go to our facebook page where there are 10 there. really fun really fun no, so the first one is that the first one okay so, so, so I like this one for a whole bunch of reasons, but one is because I've seen people smoke stuff like that. Like I really have like big as your head blunts, definitely seen people smoke stuff like that before. Like one of these? One of what? I'll show you. Okay. The biggest one ever. Mm. Um, really clever, clever. Can we go to number two? Number two. Are these coming up on the screen or are we just, okay. Yeah, there they are. Um, so stoned and confused right there. Um, glassy eyed, pretty funny. I think it might be a little bit funnier. Yes, exactly. Big as your arm. Holy shit. I think it might have been a little bit funnier if they would have taken some of the inside. There we go. That's what we were waiting Do for. Do you want to put them in the office? Um, the, if they would have put some of the inside of the pumpkin coming out of the mouth. I always like that. Oh, when they like, make it look like the pumpkin's thrown up. Yeah. There's some good, there's a couple of good carvers out there that are real notorious for it. Oh, okay. I I'll, always think that's pretty good. I like the, Yay. the farmer mooning where it's got the pumpkin, like scarecrow bent over and the pants are down and nice. the two pumpkins are down there. The, yeah. Nice. That one's good. You know, the, the fun, fun. Those are fun. Fun things. This one's a little bit more serious, but gosh, that's a good job. Um, the medical marijuana voter. Pumpkin Bob Bupre should check that out a little bit, too. Um, but that took a lot of work, a lot of effort. And see the one in the back? I mean, God, people, are so, people are so good. People are so good. All right, the next one. Oh, I'm sorry. So this one's great. The pumpkin smoking a big bubbler. Um, that's pretty, that's pre sorry, a big bong. Sorry, I thought I could say bubbler. Yeah, we're in Colorado. You can say bong. Now. Bong, big bong. Um, that's pretty clever too. People are just are, are just funny. So I'm assuming that that's dry ice inside the pumpkin. Either that, or um, they're hot boxing the pumpkin or something. But I doubt they would do that. All right, and then the next one. I like this one. Just a nice happy flower or leaf. That is a good one. It's a very nice happy leaf. And then get this one. Green 420. Get that. Now, there's one at the very top. Did we get the one in, hang on, go down one more. Oh yeah, that's, no, no not her, that's an ad. It's a pumpkin pipe. That was the pumpkin, that's Brittany. That was the pumpkin pipe that Fry made. We smoked it at Marijuana Radio years ago. That thing was years legendary. Ago. Legendary. Is that on that website? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's fucking crazy. I got to go post pipe. that shit on Fry's page and be like, dude, your pumpkin pipe made it to some random website. Isn't that cool? That one's really cool. Yeah. Again, I mean, that, that um, where you just uh, carve away enough so that you're not carving all the way through. And then when you put the light in the background, it does these cool things. I love that. Love that. And the next one. 
that's not a carved pumpkin, you know. You know what that well, is? Technically, it is. I mean, somebody you know carved that all is? that shit out. It's a fraudulent pie. It's it's probably infused. <gasps> I would hope so. On this, does it any of that writing say anything of it's value? Like pumpkin pot pie. Now that you've done Get it. Your pumpkin, Get it. Da uh, ha ha. Pump. Nice. Go up to the very, very top of this one for my favorite of all of these. Keep going, keep going. Boom. Check that out. That one's nice. That is so cool, isn't it? So the nice, I don't know what they call it, the relief. We're talking about art and pumpkins here right now. It's uh but that's really cool. I like that one a lot. I think that's really clever. So if you guys have any wonderful pumpkin photos that you make a little 420 friendly, please don't hesitate to post them on our Facebook page. We'd love to see them. If they're as good as that, man, we need to have a contest because that's pretty awesome. I like that one a lot. There is a contest coming up, stoner related, at um, one of these Halloween parties that we're doing. Yeah? One of our stoner Halloween parties. Do I'm not sure if it's a public thing, so I think it's invite only, so I probably shouldn't mention too much about it, but I'll tell you about it after this. Oh, cool, because I wasn't invited yet. Well, we're, it's our job to invite people. Oh. But you don't get out much. No. So. No, I stay right here. I figure it's easier to have you not say no if we just don't invite you. Oh, does it hurt your feelings? Yes. No, it does not. You're right. Yeah, I was going to say, you don't care. You're right. Um, so, so those pumpkins are great. I love them. People spend a lot of time on them. So I promised that we would do uh, some of the best <coughs> Halloween strains. You ready? Yes. Mr. Hyde. You ever heard of Mr. Hyde? Um, it sounds kind of familiar as a strain. I hear people talking all... Anybody heard of Mr. Hyde? I can't say solid. No. No one in the room. No one in the room has heard of Mr. Hyde. How about Mike Myers? Nope. How about Crypt Keeper? I've heard of Keeper. Crypt Keeper? Uh-huh. <laughs> Ever smoked any Crypt Keeper? Isn't that creepy? That's a creepy name. How'd they come up with such a creepy name? Tales from the Crypt. I know, but... <laughs> why Why that, would that be a strain name? Like, why? what would make you smoke it and be like... Why, why would Green Crack Cause be a it, good title? I know, right? Heroana. Because if it left you, like, like mummified, that means it's pretty good. <laughs> 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 if it left you mummified. Period. How about Hellraiser? Yeah, pretty Uh-huh. It's got to be Sativa, right? I would hope so. Yeah. <laughs> it's got to be Sativa. Frankenstein OG. Is there really a Frankenstein OG? That I've heard of. I you mean, have? I'm pretty sure will be. Skippy, my buddy Skippy, posts that. Skippy? Posts, well, Ryan. I'm not going to say his last name. I know who Ryan is. Okay. And then my favorite, the Afterlife Kush. <laughs> I mm. said, damn, I want to try that. Just I, I know, principle. right? I, I mean, know. Period. Shit. I know. So those were pretty fun, if you ask me, which you did, because, you know. Like some killer, that sounds like some killer weed. I'm telling you. The Afterlife. So what's the dumbest strain name you have ever heard of? Dumbest, like, like, why would you call it that dumb? Hungarian Maple Chronic. Deal, that you win, what else? I don't know, I know that I've heard several that it's like, I know you renamed that from something else, and that's just <laughs> fucking stupid. Like, whatever they renamed Green Crack to, I don't think was... Yeah, that's the one, Green Crack is kind of stupid. Like, Green Crack <laughs> is kind of dumb, and then whatever they changed it to wasn't any better. Peyton was... Manning was pretty dumb. I don't even know what that was. He's, he's pretty dumb, actually. Although the Charlie Sheen, that was pretty appropriate, because you know when you smoke that, you're, either hookers are going to come out of nowhere or just <laughs> everything's going to get crazy and good. <laughs> That's a sativa for sure. <laughs> That's a sativa for sure. Did you see that shit? What is that? That's from Decomp uh, this weekend. Yeah, you want to tell us a little bit about I don't even know what that means. Well, it's Denver's regional decompression. So it's a decompression party from all the burns this summer. Oh. You've been to Apogee, Burning Man, things like that. So it's a huge burner party i guess there were like 1300 tickets sold whoa so it was, Where was full it? at castleman's so it was at castleman's and then there's the parking lot right behind castleman's so we could go out the back door we utilized the whole alley uh, and then we had that whole parking lot right there where we had a bunch of art and fire and stuff set up what was really great is there's a bar right next door to that parking lot or directly behind castleman's i forget what it's called the meadow lark um i don't know i'm not I'm not sure. I think it was... On, it was on Larimer? Yeah, it's on Larimer. Yeah, it would be about 2,600-something oh. okay. Larimer. I don't know. Um, but, it, you know, they had this big outdoor patio. Well, big, whatever. 
in, compar in comparison, it was teeny tiny. It looked like a little cage. And what was funny is that while we're all back having a good time in the parking lot, you know, whatever, you can't tell it's a parking lot. It's just like a carnival. Um, loud music, a bunch of people dressed up, you know, lots of sexy happening everywhere. It's awesome. And these people are looking over the wall and, and that, and you could see them. They were up trying to talk to people, and they're like, damn, it looks like you guys are having way more fun than us. It's like, maybe you guys should have just said yes, you know, instead of, you know, choosing alcohol. Because you guys look dumb. You're all in this little cement cage. Blech. <laughs> you know, and it just, it cracked. It was just funny. I don't know why. I felt kind of like a jerk, but I, it was awesome. Like, Fine. But the rest of the, the event was amazing. I got to set up my lasers, have the laser show I've been hoping to have pretty much my whole life. Wow. And it was. Did you know about this? It was sensational. No. Um, I didn't get invited. Me either. Uh, oh, right. Because you're not a burner. So, but we're friends with you. Right, but would you have spent thirty dollars to get dressed up and come hang out with a bunch of people that to see you the don't laser know? to see the laser show that you wanted to do all your life? I would. Well, yes. I'm going to do it again. Okay. I don't know entirely yeah, when. Yeah, I don't know about the whole rest of the thing, but to see your laser show, absolutely, without a doubt. Yeah. So. Did I have to dress up? We don't have to. There were people there that weren't dressed up, but they two. did not look like they were having fun. <laughs> two, two people <laughs> didn't dress well, up. Well, at the at the very beginning, like I was walking down this hallway, and there were a couple of guys dressed normally looked at me and laughed, and then I walked past them later, looking all sad against the wall, and I just laughed at them walking with a couple girls, and I was like, "Fucking dumbasses." <laughs> so this nice. is like a, a clip that somebody had taken. My computer's going slower than dirt right now. Not sure why. Um, but it's playing. Well, that's pretty fun. I'm so glad you got to do that. What a what a fun pre-Halloween thing to do also. It was pretty amazing. Yeah. Like, it was no Halloween party I'm going to go to this year is going to compare to that. Oh. Although I will be in California for Halloween, so I'm going to sit on the beach and smoke weed and dip my balls in the sand. I think we said this last week. Oh, God. I, I know, like but until you... Oh, you don't, you don't get to do that. You don't dip them. You don't dip them. Oh, yeah, you do. You yeah, gently you set do. them on your... St on the what sand, you, you tell him. dip them into the sand. A sand tea bag. Yeah. I did it when I was in Cancun. And I know this fool did it in Hawaii. Did you really, Gabe? It's like on purpose or by accident? It's like a civilized thing that it guys just do. You know, like we don't pee on things to mark our territory in, in as much that if we go to the beach, we just say we were here. <laughs> Stamp of approval. Wow. Girls don't have that, just so you know. It's a crest. It's a crest. <laughs> yeah, that, the right that you that you suffer the consequences of for quite a while afterwards. Not if you just dip your balls in the sand, Ugh. put them back in your pants. Everything's fine. It's not fine. It's weird. Or then you get up and you run out into the ocean. You splash. You around can't in the just. Ocean. Sometimes you can't just rinse the, the sand off. Sometimes if there's a just the right crevice, you have to pick it off. We don't have those crevices. Right. We got I think, a. We I got think a butt hole in a I sack. I think you do have. I think. <laughs> Stretch it out and everything. We oh. don't have curtains, lips, folds, nothing. Like it's great. Holy moly! Wow. <laughs> well, I listen to the the Robin Williams comedy channel on Pandora. Some of the comedians throw out a lot of things that aren't as family friendly as Robin Williams might do. And you got that from one I, of them. I can't remember who stole which it. One? Well, okay. just influenced by it. Yeah. We're going to take our last break really quick before we do our Halloween wrap up and talk about what else is going on on iCannabis Radio and maybe even talk about my dad's company. We probably should since yeah. we haven't actually recorded that yet. I know. We should consider that possibly tonight. Right. Be right back. The law offices of Vets and Maiden and Mats provide criminal defense, medical marijuana defense, and advice about setting up and running medical marijuana centers, optional premises, cultivation operations, and infused product manufacturing businesses throughout Colorado. With offices in Denver and Aspen, we can offer assistance throughout the entire state of Colorado. Give us a call at 303-831-8188. That's 303-831-8188. Or visit us online at warrenetson.com. Are you a runner? Are you a runner who supports marijuana legalization? Run on Grass is a group of athletes actively seeking to change our marijuana laws. We speak the truth about cannabis, bringing the message through our feet to new ears. Check out runongrass.com to find out more about us, our events, and how to join up or how to sponsor a runner. If you're in the Denver area, please join us for runs or start a group in your area. Running not your thing? Any sport can do it. On Grass. Runongrass.com. 
I'm Gary Johnson, and you're listening to iCannabis Radio, and I want to say, talk it up, Colorado. Colorado. Bam. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> Bam. Talk it up, Colorado. Um, speaking of talking it up, a uh, couple Colin Moore and Company, medical marijuana insurance for dispensaries and growers, 877-335-1234. You can reach them at mmdispensaryinsurance.com. They provide property insurance for your dispensary that includes theft. They provide liability insurance for your dispensary that includes product liability and professional liability. We provide growers with crop insurance for growing plants. Check your insurance co- coverage and give them a call to discuss your needs and provide the best insurance policy for your business. 877-335-1234, email at rtc at couplecolumore.com or www.mmdispensaryinsurance.com. You know, I think people should ask their own insurance companies first about, about getting insured so that way when they call your dad, they're very grateful because <laughs> after their insurance company laughs at them and tells them to go fuck themselves. Um, and my dad says, a, sign here. It will be a very refreshing to talk to your dad and be like, oh, my God, thank you, sir. So that it's, way, it's refreshing to talk to my dad anyway because he's adorable. Awesome. Mm-hmm. He is awesome. Guy. Super awesome. Super awesome. Um, so this weekend, big race here in Denver. Big big race. The Denver Rock and Roll Marathon and Half Marathon is this weekend. <laughs> oh, you know who's going to be able to answer this question? So we were driving up here, and there was a sticker on the back of a car. It said 70.3. What is that? It's an ultra marathon. It's 70.3 miles. Ultra. But so, ultra! like That's my daughter. three marathons in one. My daughter did a, a double marathon, or it was like a two and a half or she did a, it. She did one, a half one day and a half the next day. Right. Like yep. that night, they did... They did one full marathon. Mm-mm, half. No, because it was a double marathon. Uh-uh. Are you sure? Uh-huh. She didn't, she didn't run two full marathons. She, run, she ran a full marathon in two halves. Are you sure? Because mm-hmm. I thought she was all hyper, hyped up about the double marathon. But that yeah. seems pretty fantastical. So That's I bet you're probably right. two miles. That's a long freaking way. That's a long way. Miles. But runners like that shit. That's one-tenth of the way to Kansas City. <laughs> See? <laughs> See? See, now once you put it that way, it sounds even bigger. <laughs> <laughs> so Gavin's going to run uh, the half with me. Anyone what who day wants is to it? Come? Sunday. Sunday. Anyone who wants to come out to the finish line, be really fun. It's downtown. It's a fun go, time. I have to go do my class on Sunday. I have to go up to Loveland at Making Better Choices so I can get oh, off good. of my six months unsupervised probation. Yay. Happily. So I got to yeah. do that this Sunday. You should, it sh- and maybe it'll help. Maybe you'll make better choices. Well, I always learn something from those, any of those kind of classes. Whether you want to be there or not, as long as you pay a tenth of, per- of, of attention, you're going to gain something. You'll be able to attribute it somewhere. Well, if you have to be there anyway. Right. You might as well learn something. Why not? Try that's, to. That's right. That's exactly. right. What else are you doing this weekend? I don't know. I'm still recovering from this last weekend. It's like so much was going into last weekend that... It's just nice to know that this weekend is not last weekend. <laughs> Are you guys um, haunted housing? Um, oh, yeah. yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. So it's called the Colorado Fear Fest. It is at 5550 Old Wadsworth Boulevard. Um, it's right behind the, like Lowe's and next to the Texas Roadhouse next to the Texas Roadhouse and right the, the man, movie theater. The man theaters, the, AM, uh, the man yeah. Oh, I didn't know there was a movie theater there. It's one of the dollar theaters. Oh, I, okay, I know. It's not, a it's not. It's a regular theater, is it? No, it's not a dollar theater. Did you hear that? Even the no. dollar theaters aren't dollar theaters anymore. No. But still, it's all the same fun stuff. But, and so there's, basically there's three haunts. Like, there's two haunted houses that you get for the price of one. Um, and then the midway. So what it is, is there's, it's the no line um, haunt. So, like, I don't like going to haunts because I don't want to pay $25 to stand in line for two fucking hours. No. Um, the last time I went, it was somewhere way down south. It was a fun haunt. don't remember what it was, but waiting in line, you know, you almost catch pneumonia some nights. Um, so ours, since we're burners, there's fire all over the place, so you can warm up. But the Midway is a 100-foot by 40-foot circus tent that has different haunted carnival games. Ooh. Um, little fun house. Um, which I don't recommend if you're even slightly claustrophobic because it's mm. freaking awesome. But I'm slightly claustrophobic, and I've been through it several times. Maybe I do recommend it. Fuck it. Because <laughs> it's fun. But the joy of it is that you pay for your ticket. You 
go, you get in line in a computer, and then you just go wander around. Oh. When it's your turn to go, a little thing comes up on a big computer screen and says, oh, it's your turn, and then you just walk right up to the front. They tell you what's going on. You walk right in. So um, there's, wow. a, there's family night coming up. I think I sent you a, uh-uh. an invite to that. You did? Um, for a family night at the Haunts. Um, so there will be a lot less scares, you know, and it's more like big, giant fun house kind of thing. Um, what's that date? Let's see here. My computer will work reasonably fast. We'll get back to that. I'll have to look for it. Mm-hmm. But um, which I think actually is this coming weekend. Um, mm-hmm. I want to say it's the nineteenth. That's so, Sunday. But it would be at nighttime. Yeah, perfect. That would be ideal. A nice little after. Um, after after race. marathon kind mm-hmm. of thing. Let's see what we can find here. Colorado Fear Fest Family Night Saturday at five p.m. So it's on the eighteenth. At five p.m. Five. Well, it starts five p.m. Yes. That sounds fun. And so what it says here is, for the squeamish at heart, join us for some family f- Halloween fun at our not-so-scary lights-on tours. Kids can play carnival games, get treats from the concession stand, watch a magician, and visit the haunted house with the lights on. The lights will be on from 5 to 7 p.m. At 7 p.m., the lights go back off, so don't be so late. So the 18th, the 25th, and the 1st. So it's three nights of family night from 5 to 7. Correct. So, so if you go with the lights on, is it really nothing, not fun, and not well, scary no, cause at all? No, because the uh, the uh, the haunt guy put a lot more into, and I don't, and I'm not saying anything about the actors because they're all great people, but they, he put a lot of money into the animatronics, into the decoration. So when you go in, it's like, wow, this is really cool. But you're so busy looking at everything that when somebody jumps out and scares you, you're like, get the fuck out of the way, man! I'm trying to look at that. So, so I'm just wondering. So my kid. Likes haunted houses. He would have. He would be fine in this one. Okay. Like it's. Okay. Like, oh, I'm excited. Okay, cool. So it's not. Like I went through it, but I see. I'm a. We we did 3D scary clown haunts for years. So it's my. I'm a little skewed. So when I go into a haunted house, it's like you really got to try, because a 3D haunt is a lot. When you're wearing those fucked up glasses, you know you got to walk around and do this. So anything that touches you is probably a person. So it's it gets intense, but. We're not doing that this year. So I can at least get a VIP pass. I'm sure that we can work on something. I'm sure that we can work on something. I do not see why not. I think that sounds like fun. I definitely, definitely want to do it. You should. Gavin would love it. He would love it. I mean, he would enjoy it without, you know, on this night, but he would enjoy it afterwards as well. He's way old enough for this um, to not have any... Yeah, effects, he think. understands the difference between real and uh, <laughs> and fake, and and while while getting um, startled is scary. Again, he I mean he knows. <laughs> but that's what you go to a haunted house for. Boo! Yeah, yeah. You go there for the you. cheap thrills. You know that you're not going to see actual death. That they're generally not allowed to touch you. You're going to make it out. It's not like, oh, I hope I make it out of this haunt. You're going to make it. Trust me. I have to tell you, Gavin went to several years ago. Went to a friend's school Halloween thing at Teller Elementary School where they had two haunted houses that the kids put together. One was for little kids and one was for older, I mean, still elementary school kids. So our, my friend's kid is several years older than Gavin. So they went in together. The older kids came out. My kid didn't come out and didn't come out and didn't come out. And like five minutes went by. So finally I asked one of the one of the kids that was working it to go find my kid. She went all the way through the haunted house. He wasn't in there. Wasn't in there. He's up playing on the playground. Like he'd he'd finished and went out and somehow walked right past me and went to play on the playground. <laughs> he wasn't much scared. So <laughs> he's like, that was dumb. I'm gonna go play. Yeah. But uh but yeah, I love this. So we'll definitely we'll definitely have to check that out. So but if anyone wants to come see us at the end of the race so where's that? Um, it's at uh, essentially Lincoln and 14th, so um, across the street from the Capitol. Are the Broncos playing in Denver this weekend? No, no. So that's even, are they? Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Niners. Niners. Oh, Sunday yes. nights. Sunday that night. explains Sunday nights. Yeah. Okay. Did you guys go to the bank today? We did try to go to the bank today. Everybody tried to go to the bank yeah. today. Yeah. Not me. I hate this day. This is a freaking stupid 
How is this holiday a thing? It's not a. It's not a thing. It, it is isn't. A thing. No, it's not. It, oh, my bank a, is closed. You know, it, yeah, it's, the post office and the post closed. office is closed. It's a total thing. It's not a thing. That and you can't even, even get a law, a judge to see your case today. Well, you can't. You can't in Denver. Thing, Denver doesn't close on on whatever. I'm not even going to say the stupid day. Denver doesn't close. Other courts do. Denver's open. They're so, courts. So maybe you should have committed a crime in Denver. How could court be open? No, nah, well, I don't commit crimes. Well, if you were going to. <laughs> yeah, I do. If I'm going to get in trouble, I'm going to get in trouble at home. Just don't talk to the police. Yeah, don't ever, 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 ever talk to the police. Yeah, but no, it was a, it was definitely a, a, a terrible um, morning trying finding out that my local branch of my bank wasn't going to be open this morning. When bills are due at their same standard time. <laughs> <laughs> Despite the hiccup of Columbus Day. Oh, oh you man. said it. I know. I was it's so say stupid. The, the National Native Slaughtering Day. It is. Or... It is. It's it's um it's uh, Indian Killer Day. Oh, I was like, I'm wondering, like, so what Columbus Day, like the Columbus Day sale, does that mean I just walk in and take whatever the fuck I want? And you have to kill someone in the process or enslave them, yeah, whichever as long you as prefer. You rape, murder, and pillage. Yeah, you're you're, doing I think it right. it's fine. I think that's right. That's how Especially, you celebrate I mean, I, I don't, think, I don't think rape and murder and pillaging are my thing. I can kind of like take without asking. I can do that. A ma- that's mattresses. Kind of that's, that's, that's it's not a, what Columbus did. No, that's opportunistic. He did, he did steal stuff. He absolutely he stole well, an entire land. Right. He, but he annihilated. He raped, murdered, and pillaged. He, he annihilated fifty percent of the island of Haiti before he left the first time, and then went back and tried to do it again. But he he was lucky he, he found it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was lucky he found here. Yeah. Or no, there Haiti. There. Yeah. He was lucky he found here too. Actually. I mean, he don't. I don't think he ever made it here. South of here, right? Yeah, like Brazil. <laughs> you know, how, yeah. It's hard to believe so, any of that history. I mean, it's almost hard to believe any history, knowing that it was wrote and recorded by the winners. No, no, no. My thing is, ranting, how? Archie? I'm just really excited to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Ganu is laying like, down I'm on like the other side of the fan. Crunchy in the corner, and I'm thinking that you, he's having an asthma attack. <laughs> how, do you, how, do you, how do you discover something that already has like a million people on it? Thank you. I mean, I'm, I just think that's neat. I just walk into a room like I just found all you guys. <laughs> this is now my room, like, like, and I own you all. Period. Yeah. Oh man, is that wait? That's on me. If that's <laughs> <laughs> right yeah. On. And so, Lee Erickson, who is that again? Oh wait, never mind. Lee Erickson. Never, yeah. What? Do you, mm, I don't he, know. Yeah. Dave he, Calordes? No. He only discovered, you know. Wow. Oh. You know. Where? <laughs> Is that Ooh. the dude who found what is now New York or whatever? Uh, I don't know. We, we're not a history show. No. Let's not let's not fake it. Right. Oh, Boone's definitely found some leaf air. Ah. And and who was North America named after again? Amerigo Amer- Fu- Amerigos Fus- Fuspucci. V- yeah. So we got to ask all these so, young kids that just got out of school. Right. They're still fresh knowledge. So if Columbus discovered America, why aren't we Columbia? Right, because they do. And produce all kinds of drugs. Because he didn't make it here. Oh, right. Because he had nothing to do with it. (laughs) Right. Because there are already thousands upon thousands of people living pretty happily here. Well, they they, they came out and took care of that. He's the Viking who was here before that. Yeah, Yeah, in the 800s. Yeah. Yeah. I remember reading about this guy. Yeah, I don't think he raped and pillaged and. Conquered? Conquered, yeah. I, if he did, he probably just did it like one at a time, not like in the masses like Christopher <laughs> Columbus did. Yeah, so um, I'm pissed at banks that closed today. You? I needed to pay my credit card. I got a rental car. Well, that's, where you, pay for. that's where you got to be responsible and do these things on Friday or Saturday before these kind of dumbass Mondays. It doesn't matter if you do it on Friday and Saturday because it's not going to get cashed in until Monday and then not go through until Wednesday. So you might as well just do it on Monday. But you can't. It's Columbus Day. Oh. <laughs> it's a dumbass you know, holiday. You know what's crazy? Accident. Leave him alone. Look I, at him. He's dressed up l- as a car accident survivor. Yeah, that's why I have to pay my credit card to get a rental car. But no, I used to live in Sevilla, Spain, which is crazy because that's where Christopher Columbus is buried. They have like a street that the cathedral, well, the cathedral's on Constitucion, but they have a street in Sevilla called uh, Avenida Cristobal Colon. And then he's buried in the, the La Geralda. Which is like, oh my God, you would, you can go see this man, like literally dead. And, and that's really, really cool. We don't need a, a, I mean, that's part of history. Like he's a part of history. 
but not doesn't need to be a part of I'm just saying, exalted I, I, history in our country. I live country. down the street from this dead man. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Do you like, yes, you it? in the back, sir. I gotta do, uh, That's a trip. List. Yeah. I'll go with you. That might be a it's tough actually one to do. it's actually a really big cathedral. Uh, no bullshit. I used to sell weed in front of it. <laughs> <laughs> I did. That's what how I lived in Spain for a year and a half. The tourists would go to the cathedral. I would go. You guys need weed. I know you do. And they would go. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and sure and enough. And then I give them weed and they give me money, yeah. and that's how that works. I sold dubs at the Geralda. <laughs> 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 like, yeah, as soon as I do this, really, I'm just going to lift my leg right here. Watch my back, homie. Yeah, you'd probably go to Joe for that one. It'd be worth it. Yeah, just sell dubs and get the money. All right, so things that we learned today <laughs> on Happy Monday on iCannabis Radio. One, Babu Prey and... Hickenlooper, both suck at this. We yeah. are not right for Colorado. Are not right for I Colorado. I would say that would be a fair official stance. Hickenlooper's good for Denver, but not good for Colorado. However, better than Bob Hupre. Let's yeah. just be honest about that. Banks are closed on Columbus Day. We learned about that. Columbus Day should not be a thing. I don't think it is a thing because I refuse to, to acknowledge it. Therefore, for me, it's not a thing. It's like the Washington football team that represents their That's city. Right. That's right. <laughs> they, are, they are not a thing. Um, also learned this. Learned a little bit of that today. The Harlem Shake. <laughs> 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 it's it's you're taking the first step towards what is being called teddy twerking. I don't. I don't it. These are the warm facts. I don't, I don't think that's right. I think you're wrong. I think you need to back off before I back you off. Ooh. Hell no, that no, that's that's what it is. I didn't go like this. I don't Nor think did she, that other girl. She just did what? Did like, she see the video? Bodybuilding. I don't oh, think she you saw the video. the video. Oh, we'll have to show you. You won't I be as offended once you see this. No, I'm pretty offended. I did not titty twerk. She I shimmied with my... It's, uh, titties. It's the same my thing. My upper body. Look, he's titty twerking. That's There's exactly what it is Thank right you, there. Crunchy. Did I do that? <laughs> That's why... Did I do that? No. No. That's not the answer. I shimmied. Thank you. I said you were in the beginnings of what is being called titty twerking. Mm-mm. That is not the no, same thing as saying no. you were titty twerking. I was not I was not even Look in the beginning. how begin- offended you get I for just not- being told you were twerking. You're like, no, no, no. Twerk some. Twerk. Oh, you don't listen to Two Chains and Lil Wayne? Um, only... Only when she's smoking <laughs> blunts. Oh, snap. Grape. Grape. Oh. No, only when Warren sings grape? it. Did you say grape? I did. <laughs> <laughs> grape blunts are the way to go. <laughs> you smoke them grape swisher sweets like mm. Obama now? <laughs> <laughs> Those are delicious. Those just like hubba bubba bubble gum. <laughs> so you're going on, on you're not going to be here. You're going on a small sabbatical next week. So Just for one there, little night. There right. won't be a Georgia, so we might, we'll might probably have a special guest or two. Yeah. yeah we'll, hold it, we'll hold it down. I'm sure like you will. Like a paperweight. I know. I'm not worried. You guys will have fun without me. But you'll be back for the final um, Monday of October, so we'll have a... So much fun. And I suggest still, I'd like to go back to last week's suggestion, I suggest now for that final Monday that that be our Halloween party. Little little Halloween shindig throwdown. I love it. I love it. So we will start working on that, and we'll give you more details next week. So don't forget that the Adam Dunn Show is on this Wednesday at 1130 at the Hiccups. Um, Ham Connoisseur Magazine from 4 to 5 p.m. on Thursday. And, of course, Jeremy now will be back. Jeremy will be back without me next week. Thanks to our sponsors, Edson Maiden and Matt's, Noto Urban Garden Supply, Medical Marijuana of the Rockies. Thanks so much to Jerry. Run on Grass. And, of course, Couple Collimore and Company. And we will see you next, next week. Yes. Have a great week. Bye.